What's up, everybody? Ryan Sickler here, and I just wanted to let you know that tickets to my fall dates of the Live and Alive tour are on sale now. Go to ryansickler.com, get your tickets to all shows. I'm coming to Austin, Dallas, La Jolla, Salt Lake City, Denver, Chicago, Detroit, Minneapolis, Madison, Portland, Fort Lauderdale, Tampa, and Tempe. Tickets for all shows are available right now on my website at ryansickler.com. Hey, baby, we're going to be here all day. We're going to be here all day, baby. I like this kind of party. Welcome back to the way back, y'all. Very excited to have these guests on here today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome H. Foley and Kevin Ryan from Are You Garbage? Hey welcome man. to the way back, gentlemen. Three of the boys sitting on the couch. This uh -huh. is, uh, we were laughing because Kirsten's like, we should do one with both of them if they'll do it. I, was I didn't like, think it was going to physically be able to happen. <laughs> Surprise. It's actually a little more comfortable. It is. It's, yeah, we got the dog, we got the in, dog here in here, too. Bro. Brought to you by Ozempix. Um, <laughs> please go ahead and start, H. Foley. Plug whatever you'd like. Uh, are you garbage, uh, dot com for all your are you garbage needs? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Picks, T-shirts, fake lighters. Show tickets, whatever you guys want. Well, podcast is on YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, the whole nine yards. Check it out, gang. Yeah. Um, I love what you guys do. You going to get down, Princess? You going to come on my lap? I'll see where Are you going to come see Uncle Hank? See? Um, but I wanted to ask you, you both a few questions um, because I grew up very... Um, in your fucking wheelhouse. Yes. Mm -hmm. and Trash. Let's yeah. call it what it is. Did either of you ever have free lunch tickets? Did you ever have a free lunch? No. Your no. family made enough money where enough you could afford money. your own lunch? Yeah, at least, yes, you for son sure. Of a bitch. What about you? <laughs> Rich ass motherfuckers. Rich motherfuckers. No free lunch for you? No free lunch. We did have, I remember there was a, a social thing of if you were at Catholic school, if you got a, a lunch token or a milk token. The milk token kids were seen as, you know, well, down in the dumps. We were milk token kids for a while, and then we bumped up the lunch tokens. Let me tell you something. St. Nicholas, St. Mary's grade school in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania, knew their way around a macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Man. It was like I was eating at the Palm. Delicious. Any financial assistance anywhere growing up? No, nothing. Nothing. Nah, college had to take out a bunch of financial Stimmy aid. Stimmy check during the pandemic. But <laughs> no, I'm well, I'm not gonna up, take it. Bro. Did you ever have this? In school, we had, um, they went from milk cartons to milk bags. What? No, that's Canadian shit. Did milk you ever get the bags? No, we had the cartons and we switched to these like weird plastic things that they would like rinse out that would nobody... The second they and went use again. Wait, yeah, what? The second what? they went to that, I said, "No way, Where? Jose! Welcome Coca Cola." Wait, what was the milk in? <laughs> Switch to the sweet stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. What was the milk in? Yeah. What is it? It was like a imagine like a small water bottle, kind of like a little plastic, like a huggy, but like thicker plastic, and they would re rinse those out. Oh. In the kitchen, you'd walk by because like we would exit the the no cafeteria. Bag. That's crazy. That's not. I mean, that's like what How you. Do you space. drink that? How, how are you That's, biting and sipping? It's like a Capri Sun. So the straw's got the point on it. And you, no I, I don't see no sir, I don't see no surfboard. Uh, yeah, what do you? I don't I see. Mean, I don't see a kid in sun. That is the principle, baby. <laughs> I mean, the principle behind poking it is the fucking bag. Okay. All it took was one fucking kid to turn it around. And just squirt, squirt the kid next to him, and it was a wrap on milk bags <laughs> after Damn. one lunch there here, you go. dude. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Controversy brews over here. Oh, you're right. Canadians are buying milk bags. Yeah. That's a big Canadian it thing there. we learned from the show. We had a, they, they do the milk bag, bags of milk. I would do the fruit cup style container with milk. I, that I'll, I'll let you get away with. But if it didn't come in those little bangers, those little cartons, no. Nah. No. Nah. I couldn't do it. Dude, a reusable cup and element. It wasn't is, a cup. It was like. And they were like bottles. Like they would a have thermos. caps. So yeah, it was. They would not reuse great. them. It was you not sure great. about that? I think so. Yeah, that's crazy. Also, what was great growing up too? We had it. There was a Philly thing. I think it was called Arctic Splash, Arctic Cool. The um, I think it's Splash. The iced tea in yeah. the milk cartons, like the little individual. Oh Arctic yeah. Splash oh my god. It just reminded me. So I worked at a uh, was it wasn't a it wasn't called an old age home. It was called a retirement community. Sure. Yeah. And I had to wear a fake tux, and I was a bus boy. So <laughs> okay. the first thing I would do is I would get to the, the keynote table, yeah, get right. to the fucking, um, <laughs> cafeteria, and for the people that couldn't 
or didn't want to make it to the cafeteria, yes. you would deliver food sure. to the, they I were called cottages. That, yeah. So I'm delivering food to this cottage. And there was always this guy we were told was blind and he would say, Sonny, <laughs> will you please open my iced tea? He always called it iced, iced tea. tea. And I'm like, why do you need me to open your iced tea? He's like, I'm blind. I can't see. I'm like, okay, dude's blind. And it was the carton type, yeah. the milk carton type. So one day, Stu we're working with, like, I don't fucking think that guy's blind. I'm like, he's definitely fucking blind. He's, he's like, checking out my ass. When I don't I bend think over. he's blind. And I'm like, he's blind, dude. He's like, I'm gonna test it today. I Damn. go, what are you gonna do? He goes, I'm gonna take a sip of that iced tea. I go, dude, <laughs> That's do it, why? <laughs> Do it, please. I was never the guy. I'm like, That's I want to do good. that. I'm like, you do that. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm going to sip that iced tea. I was like, you're not going to sip the iced tea. He goes, yeah, I am. Like 20 minutes later, he comes in out of breath. The phone has already been ringing. Sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and they were caught deck. him in the office. And he said he opened it up and he took a sip and that guy said, what the hell are you doing <laughs> drinking my iced tea? And he hauled ass out of there. I said, he's not all the way blind. Damn. Cut the description oh, down and everything. Yeah. About He's six, one and a quarter. He got yeah. fired. Blue got eyes, fired. black hair. <laughs> <laughs> fucking lying old bag. I forgot about that. Damn. That's fucked up. Um, clothes. Did either of your parents ever make you clothes? No, we were, I was big on hand-me-downs at the same, or like, I mean, I, like I said, I was a fat kid, so like I could wear my dad and my brother's stuff from time to time. But a lot of hand-me-downs. Never made any clothes, though. Definite hand-me-downs from brothers, cousins, shit like that, but never made. No clothes. They were altered. They were reinforced. Okay, my mom would hemmed and shit. Yeah, they would. My mom would throw in the uh, the thicker knee pads on the inside mm -hmm. for for all the blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I was a popular boy. This <laughs> big one likes the football team. <laughs> jams. Do you yeah, remember that, jams? Okay, so we made those in school. At home ec. You did? Yeah, we made them in home ec. We did not make those in home ec. So jams were massively Dude, huge back then. If and, you didn't have a pair of them, and that you was were pre done. my time. So my mother was like, it's the same thing. Like, we don't need McDonald's. We got McDonald's, McDonald's at, at home. home. My mother's like, I'll make you jams. My mother goes to Joanne Fabrics. And she buys, honestly, curtain fabric, sure. sheer thin <laughs> yeah, curtain yeah, yeah. fabric and makes what she thinks are a pair of fucking jams that look nothing like jams. Not only that, they don't have the patch on them that say jams Sure, and they're fake ass fucking jams. I, I had that blue pair. You did? Yeah, that blue pair right there. I had those. I go to my Darn first. That's a nice set of shorts. That is a nice pair. I go to my first class in school. Fucking shorts rip right down the oh. ass, bro. <laughs> One day. Did you ever have to change into clothes yeah. from the lost and found? <laughs> All right. That's a great question. I did. <laughs> that sucked. Elementary school. And this is the truth, too. I would totally open up to it if I did this, but... Someone had gone into the. Someone had shit my pants. Someone had <laughs> shit my pants. <laughs> I don't know who someone, it was. I don't know who it was. <laughs> I was partially blind, but someone shit my pants. And all my just kindergarten, I will never forget this. Um, I had just peed. I just peed, mm -hmm. and they come out and they're like, "Someone had an accident," and ah, uh, but they're. I know they're talking about shit, and I'm like, "It wasn't me though." But so finally, I just raised my hand. I'm like, "I went to the bathroom," and they're like, "Okay," and they're being so sweet and sincere, and they send me to the school nurse. <laughs> And they had me change into the lost and found clothes. And it's plaid fucking pants. Bad. It's it was bad. Never good. It was always from like 20 yes, years before. Yes, it's bad. Had and you peed your pants? No, I didn't do anything. I think they thought someone shit them. So I think someone went after me and shit themselves and there was a mess. Uh -huh. and I couldn't understand why no one was raising their hand. But I was like, I went to the bathroom. But I would I tell you right now, guys, I'd be proud to tell you I shit everywhere. All do you think it toilet. was strange that you, when you got to the nurse's office, they asked you to take your pants off? Yeah, they changed my clothes. I, I don't know if they thought I shit myself, you know? They probably just assumed you did it or were too embarrassed. Yeah, maybe. Or taking a look at the and goods. Yeah. I'm like, okay, it's <laughs> Checking fine. out the piece. You get a peek at the look merchandise. At my cod. <laughs> A little fucking kindy cod. <laughs> and uh, I, my mother was, again, did not even like me. And I just dreaded it because they made her come get me. And Ooh. I'm just standing in on the other side of the glass. And I see that Volkswagen uh. bug pull. I'm like, fuck. Why were they so mad? The same thing happened to me one time. I had like 102 fever. I told my mom, I was like, listen, I don't feel. No, I would lie from time to time to try to get out. But I never got away with it. I got away with other stuff, but I never got away with that. I'm like, I really feel sick. I, she's like, no, you're going. Fucking go to school. First period or whatever. To, you know, first thing in the morning. I'm like, I don't feel well. Go to the nurse. 102, 103 fever. 
They call her. The principal's pissed at her now. For sending you. Because I didn't realize it. I ratted her out. Yeah, I was like, I told my mom I didn't feel what she sent me to school. That stupid bitch. And this this nun was laying into my mom. And fucking, she's like, okay, I thought he was lying, you know, whatever. Gets me outside. As we're getting in the car, she goes, so why didn't you want to go to school today? Like I was still Just thinking, like like they today. were lying yeah. about. Like, lady, you saw the fucking thermometer. <laughs> what am I, a fucking arch criminal uh, here? I got a data teacher that fucking jam me up. My Spanish teacher, she wrote a oh, um, grade, a late or maybe eighth or some seventh. Mm-hmm. But I think right when you start learning, it's you know you have Way to too take late a class. to start learning. Sure, <laughs> yeah, that's what they yeah. do. The eighth grade, sitting yeah. there high, going me gusta. <laughs> uh, <laughs> They, uh, Our textbook was churros y chocolate. <laughs> she hit me with a letter or a phone call. That's I forget what it was, but it got the message that got to my mom was "Help me help your son" or Ooh. something like that. Ayuda, and, ayuda, and, and, ayuda <laughs> I, it, insinuating that my mom wasn't doing her job right. and she or that's how she took it. Man, and man, I got a fucking rash and a shit. That call to my dad. My dad, you motherfucker, making your mom out. Oh Jesus Christ! They would yell at me like I cut them off in traffic all the time did you guys ever play practical jokes in your school on the teachers or anything i did once the babysitter we used to fuck with we had this uh, neighborhood lady who was uh, you know a little a little a little slow a little special <laughs> would watch us and her doreen karecki shout out to her uh she'd come and she'd watch us and dude we fucking tortured her What's up, everybody? Ryan Sickler here, and I just wanted to let you know that tickets to my fall dates of the Live and Alive tour are on sale now. Go to ryansickler.com, get your tickets to all shows. I'm coming to Austin, Dallas, La Jolla, Salt Lake City, Denver, Chicago, Detroit, Minneapolis, Madison, Portland, Fort Lauderdale, Tampa, and Tempe. Tickets for all shows are available right now on my website at ryansickler.com. We would pretend like we were going up to bed, like it would be like 9 o'clock. Hey, you got to go up to bed, go up to bed. We'd wait like a half an hour till she was like sitting in the recliner watching like a scary movie. And we'd sneak downstairs and just grab the back of the fucking chair and scream. Oh, hell yeah. And we used to call it a moon ride. We'd go, moon ride, and fucking send her all the way back. And she would freak out. One time she was eating Twizzlers or something like that, when she almost choked. It's an older lady too. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> but you know what's crazy is every once in a while she it's would. Crazy, you had a special needs baby. And then, dude, here's, the, here's the crazy thing: it was the eighties, dude. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while she would bring another girl with her who was worse. <laughs> she was dude, dude, I sw- babysitting. Who? I swear to God, God, man, it was bananas. And they would say, "Oh, she's gonna bring some help with her." And it was, yeah, yikes. What about your practical joke on this teacher? Uh, he got a picture. He was, it was a senior year. He was cool. He was like the basketball coach. And like we were, te- and he also taught like computers or how I forget. And uh, he was a cool dude. He was like, fra- he had kids our age. Like, you know, so like we knew his kids. And he got a picture of me like after prom, after, like from like the party or whatever, like smoking and drinking. Like we were like playing, I had a cig in my hand. We were smoking, playing like Kings or, you know, some sort of card game or something. And he made that the background on his computer. And I was like, yo, what the what fuck, the dude? Fuck? I'm like, I got a repped up keep around here. Like, you know, and he's like, he like took it down. <laughs> what, you got a crush on me, dude? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, that's a weird thing to do. Though. Yeah. It was more like we were, we would like always bust. He was very cool. We'd always bust these other balls. And I think somebody was looking at the pictures in his class and he saw it and took it. It was like, oh, I'm going to have it when he walks into class to, I don't know, embarrass I him, see. I guess. And I was like, all right, cool. That's a slippery slope. One, you got underage kids drinking. Yep. Two, you got them on and your smoking. computer. And yeah. Smoking. yeah. So I was like, all right, whatever. I didn't give a fuck. I thought it was funny. And then I got a picture of him someone like a week later, something like the basketball team like pied him in the face or something like that at like their, you know, their like final party or something. And I got pictures of that. And I, you know, I went overboard. I printed like, I went to the <laughs> library and printed like, you know, 200 of them and pasted them all over the school. Jesus Christ. I thought we were having fun. I didn't know. What, blackmailing you and your teacher? (laughs) Smear (laughs) fucking Woodward and Bernstein over here. Dude, and he lost his shit. (laughs) The fuck are you doing? Yeah, called my parents. He's like, you're not walking at graduation. All this. I'm like, dude, you started it with like fucking. A picture of me drinking underage. Naked. Yeah. 
Uh, Did they really stop you from walking? No, he let it go. Because I, I remember, I think I was just going to be like, dude, I'll go to my parents. Like, I'll like, this is crazy. Like, you fucking started this. You started playing dirty, and I just reciprocated. And then, like, it just died down. And he let, yeah, nothing ended up happening. He was pissed. Jesus. Damn. I hate when people turn like that, having a good time. We took a, um, the clapper. Remember the clapper? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Clap on, clap off. So we took one in my our world still history teacher. still one in my teacher. mom's bedroom right now. Really? Yeah. She still use it? I don't know. It's still in the wall, though. She, uh, this teacher, um, world history, she was great. Um, I got accused of fucking her because. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I got like accused of fucking her. sex or screwing her? No, sexually. Um, because she knew after my dad accused died, stuff, I had no money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> accused. <laughs> Uh, and I would go cut her grass. I'd go to her house and okay. I'd cut her grass on the weekends and wee wag. And it got to be a big ass job. So I'd bring friends. Mm -hmm. I call my buddy up, Eric. I'm like, come on, dude, help me cut Miss Eckerd's grass and shit. So then it started being there. Everybody, you know, You're everybody's there. fucking yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, But anyway, she was cool. And it, this was the one where you were like, all right, if we're going to fuck with someone, like you thought too, let's make it her because sure. she seems cool. And she would, if she felt like whatever Friday, if you saw the projector, you're like, fuck yeah, we're going to mm -hmm. watch a world history fucking slideshow oh, or some she'll bullshit. Turn the lights off some and chill it. it. Hour long sleep movie in the about back. water. Just yeah, put you to sleep. Yep. And we would just fucking sit back there. So we hooked the clapper up to her slideshow and she would sit up there on autopilot and then we would just quietly in the back and it mm -hmm. would stop. She's like, who's pulling the plug out back there? And I would sit right back there. I'm like, the plug's in, Mrs. Eckert. I guess I can say her name. She's sure. like, who's doing that? I'm like, nobody's doing it. Plugs in. I'll sit right here. And she's like, okay. And then somebody quietly claps and it starts again. And then off. I didn't mean it's, she's losing her fucking shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. she, she's calling the IT people, the nerds <laughs> to come down with another cart. Like, and finally we tell her after the class and I ran into a teacher I don't know, it might have been five or six years ago, and he told me that they still fucking talk about that and how they <laughs> wish. Like, she went nuts. Yeah, she yeah, went yeah. nuts from That'd it. That'd be viral if there was a, if it's cell phones. Probably. Yeah, that's great. Probably right. There you go. Did you guys have, um, so we had the weird shit. We've talked about this too, like the weird middle school shit where you, uh, what they made you shower. Were you ever forced to shower? No, I would have been, but the year. Uh, you have you would have to take swimming. You would have to take a swimming oh, yeah. class, and you have to shower after that to go back to school. But the year I got to high school, they stopped the swimming or whatever. Oh, they stopped yeah, the swimming. Yeah, yeah. So all together, but I missed it by a year. Yeah. Yeah, we showered after swimming, and and we had wrestling practice every morning and after. We we that was the only time in sports. I know we showered in football too. Yeah, I was showering all the time. It was we, cool. were, we were made to shower in middle school, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. So you weren't going back stinky, N dude. But like what for after, after gym, gym class? Yeah, we not working up that much of a sweat in though. sixth grade. We're going fucking running around, not working up a sweat at all. Some people don't even have hair on their balls yet. Yeah, and then the teachers would stand at the entrance way, and you'd have to walk past them naked. They would watch to make sure you showered, and then when you came out, they would give you a towel. But God they'd stand damn, there the entire the time, fuck? and all of us be like, "This is fucking fuck weird." Yeah, all of us like, shit. "You got to learn how to be mature." You know, you're going to be showering at the gyms in society. Listen, to this day, I've never showered at a fucking yeah. public gym ever. Not that shit, I'm going home trauma. filthy, and I will shower in my shower. They threw the brakes on that in the late '90s, real quick. Yeah, I like bet a lot of that shit stopped. Yeah, we did it. It was never, never. Nobody ever forced us though. Like you have to shower. I think. Maybe in wrestling at a certain point, because like Impentago was going around, but that wasn't like they were forcing us. <laughs> they were like, yo, get the fuck in here and you scrub dirty that motherfucker. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking dirt bag. Oh, dude. Impentago, <laughs> ringworm, fucking everything. The Lausha. Yeah. Yeah. What about um, ghost stories? Ghost Any stories. Um, Any weird shit in your neighborhoods go down, like yeah, I was asking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I, This is the only time that this has ever happened to me. All right. And I didn't even realize it was a ghost at the time. I get scared of things. I get scared at night, you know, get feelings and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't know whether I believe in ghosts or not. One night, um, I'm probably in my 20s. I'm, it's in the spring. So the only explanation, like scientific explanation I could have, it was a little bit windy. The trees had just blossomed. So all the leaves were like that light green. You know what I mean? And they were, they were like kind of baby. And there was a full moon and it was like shimmering. But that wasn't what it was. I was. Driving home from my buddy's house, completely sober, no weed, no nothing. Coming down my parents' street, and right before my parents' house was this other house that a guy lived in there for years. 
this guy Vic, old guy, lived there. Eventually, he passed on and gave it to uh, his uh, his daughter. And this was maybe five years after he had passed. And I'm coming down. It's like midnight. Slow roll down down the down the street. I look up and there's a red pickup truck sitting in front of their house, which I'd never seen before. It's a fucking old red like Ford pickup truck, red with the white wheels. You know what I'm talking about? You picture it? Yeah. And there's a guy standing there looking into the. Like, just leaning over, looking into the driver's side door. And he was kind of wearing white. You know what I mean? And, it, like, it, he looked kind of like a cloud was looking into it. But he was there. But then all of a sudden, I would get, as I started getting closer, he literally went from there to, like, three houses down and then back in, like, like just boom. Like, what? And then he's there, and then he's there. And I'm like, what the fuck? But as I'm getting really close, he's standing. There's somebody standing there looking in this fucking window. And I drive by it. And as I actually drive by it, I look over and he's gone. And I slow down to a point and I look to my left. And remember Predator when he was, um, uh, I swear to God. <laughs> he remember Predator when he was cloaked? Yes, he could. Exactly like that. You could still see him, but e it was invisible. Exactly like that walked right by my driver's side door and just and just looked in at me and I was stunned and I'm the biggest pussy in the fucking world I told you scared of Santa Claus scared of the Easter Bunny wasn't scared at all but I was like tingling like I felt like something was happening but I was not scared it was did crazy. you get out to see what he was looking at in the car stunned truck pulled into my parents driveway and I'm like like literally like, what the fuck was that I walk down to the end of the driveway and I'm just looking around. And then all of a sudden there's a house that's catty corner, like picture if the if that was reverse and they had light shining up against their house with like a flagpole. And I swear to God, man, this thing just appeared like out of the darkness. What thing? The the guy, the again? guy cloaked, but you know, mm -hmm. like in the Predator. shimmer and looked back at me like that and then just walked into the darkness and was gone. Swear to God. And I stood there for like a minute. Not scared, because I remember thinking to myself, how the fuck are you not running right now? Why aren't you scared? And I walked into my parents' house in a daze, didn't even close the door, just walked in, walked right upstairs, opened their door, and I, middle of the night, I'm like, hey. And they're both like, what? What's up? I'm like, I just saw a ghost. And they're like, get the fuck out of here. But strangest Taking thing ever. again, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to catch a piece of your mom. You're coming in and gumming up the works with your ghost stories. Huh, this was great, man. This any, was awesome. Any, any um, Mr. Sickler and the squad. Yeah, anything you would love to promote again, guys, feel free. Either one of you, pump it all, please. Check out the show. Check out the tour. Come see us. Mm -hmm. Areyougarbage.com, patreon.com, backslash areyougarbage. Yeah, thanks, guys. We yeah. appreciate it. Thank you both, okay. for real. This has Love been you, awesome. Brother. As always, Ryan Sickler on all social media, ryansickler.com. Talk to you all next week. <laughs>